Hi guys, it's Ray with Ray's Turquoise Turtle. Today I have a package here. Um, this company reached out to me and asked me to try their product and test it and review it. So I'm going to unpackage it for you guys and then show you what I choose to do with it. And it's not a new product, it's something we've been working with a lot, it's just a new brand of that product. But it is another package of water slide decal paper. This one is from Koala Paper. Um, it's got some mixed reviews on Amazon, but they all do because people don't necessarily know how to properly use it or how to seal it right or print it correctly or any of that. So I'm going to take a 20 ounce skinny, spray paint it, and I'm going to print a full wrap on this and I'm going to get it sealed. I um, am going to seal it with Rust-Oleum two times clear gloss this time because they didn't have any of the matte. And um, I've noticed on some of my water slides that I can see my edges a little bit more. And I'm kind of wondering if that's because of the matte or the gloss. So I'm gonna try with gloss this time around and see what happens. But um, I will put a link to this down in the description on Amazon for you and I will use it. You will see how it works and we will go on from there. So I'm going to get my cup prepped, find an image and get started on this right away so I can get their review up and ready for them. Okay, so this cup has a couple layers of white spray paint, three layers of the um, Glow Max spray paint, and I'm going to put this water slide over it. My hope is that the glow will show through the moons and stuff that are white. So I have my pan of water ready. This is my big test for this koala paper. I'm going to get some paper towels ready. I'm actually going to slide some underneath my cup cradle because this is going to get wet. And then I'm going to get a couple to use. And I'm looking for my squeegee brush. Uh, doesn't matter. I have a new one here. This one just came in the package with my new turner from Amazon, so I will just use this one. So, first thing I'm going to do is just dip my water slide in my paper, or in my water, mm -hmm. and I'm going to, while I wait for that a couple seconds, get my whole cup wet. This does not have resin on it yet. This is just the spray paint. I find when I'm doing a full wrap, it doesn't matter which way I go with that. And I can tell this is already sliding because I can see the white. So I'm going to apply this one in the standard method for my test. And I do feel like the backing paper on this one is very thick, which isn't a bad thing necessarily. It's just thicker than I'm used to. There's an edge. I'm going to turn the cup a little bit. I'm going to try and hold that. See, what's happening here is I oversealed it a little bit, so it kind of stuck to the backer there. And I thought that might happen. And it's good to know because I oversealed on another batch. I actually watched um, Courtney's Customs test of this same paper after I'd sealed mine and I sealed mine like four times like I normally do but she said she just sealed hers once so my next batch I will try sealing less All right. so I'm going to as I go 
try and work any bubbles I see out. I'm going to slide a little and turn it. And I'm just going to keep turning. I feel like I cut this a little crooked when I cut my edges off. I'm actually a little short on light in this room currently because I have so many single turners at this point that um, in order to have them all plugged in, I had to unplug my big lights, my bright, bright lights that are over here. So I may, this is like really kind of thick and nice to work with. I feel like I could pick the entire thing up and start over again if I had to. I'm pretty sure I could. I always feel like a full wrap is a good test for a new water slide because if you can make it work for a full wrap you can certainly make it work for a three or four inch piece. And I did wrinkle it a little bit there when I peeled it. It's not quite seamless and flawless. That's probably just my sizing on the image. So. Just trying to see if I can work it down a tiny bit. I'm going to overlap that down there. I'm going to see if this is stuck stuck yet. And it is not. I'm actually going to get my cup cradle out of here. Because I really feel like this image will line up if I work at it a little bit more. Just wrinkled the heck out of that. I mean, even manipulating it this much, none of the color is bleeding or anything like that. That's a bubble underneath. So I'm going to wipe the whole thing with my paper towel. I'm going to go back through and wipe it up the opposite direction and over the seam. This again was me. I just folded it.
So that is on there. I'm going to wipe it down with this wet or dry rag. Double check it for bubbles while I do that. I'm not really feeling or seeing any. A couple slight wrinkles, but again, that's me over manipulating. And I'm going to let this sit and dry for a couple hours before I come in and get the coat of resin on it. And I will probably put a little sparkle in it because, you know, I like to do that. I just like this image. It's pretty basic and simple. I may grab a dark blue alcohol ink and touch up those wrinkles. So I will be back when this is dry. I will touch it up with ink if that's what I decide to do for you and then we'll get some resin on it. Okay, time to get resin on this one. I am going to add a little bit of cheat because, you know, that's what I do. So I'm going to portion out a little bit of my resin. And I'm going to use... Um, I'm actually not going to use a cheat. I'm going to use the Fine Rainbow Moonsto Moonstone. So I'm just going to use like that. Just a tiny, tiny hint of sparkle. I did test a little piece with ink to see if I could cover my little boo-boos and I think the tears are actually on the downsiding face of the, um, yep, of my water slide so I couldn't patch them with the ink. It just kind of skimmed right over the top of the white. So I'm just going to leave the little flubs and it is what it is. They're not the end of the world anyways. So, that's that. I'm just going to get a quick coat on here. I haven't decided if I want to add a seine to this anywhere or not. I don't think so. I think it's just pretty as is. So I'm going to let it be. But I am going to take this glove off. I still have these little silver stars on my desk. So I think I'm going to add a couple of those. I'm trying not to put them over like the big suns and moons just in the blue spots. Just because they're cute. And I can, so why not? So I'm just going to have a couple of them scattered here and there. That's it. So I'm going to deal with this one. I'm actually going to take you down for a close-up in a minute because this is how it's going to look. So I'm going to let it spin out a little bit and then I will bring you in for a close-up. Okay, here's the close-up. Isn't it just so cute? It's like the perfect amount of sparkle. And the little stars I added. So I am hoping it will have a little glow to it. But I don't know if it'll have had enough charge and be dark enough. So we're going to find out. Oh yeah. Sure does. <laughs> Some of it glows extremely bright. Oh my god, I love it. So, there you have it, another finished cup. Thank you for watching. I appreciate every single one of you.